Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. Today I'm going to show you how you can really easily take cuttings from a jade plant and produce loads of other little plants without actually having much of an impact on the original plant at all. Okay, um, it's not really difficult at all. Uh, the method I'm going to use is the leaf method and all that involves is taking a leaf, just pulling it off the plant and um, that leaf will be the basis of um, any new plant. So just look around your, your jade plant and see if there's something that a, a leaf that you can do without and there's lots of them. <laughs> because <laughs> they do have lots of leaves and then literally they come off really easily if you just twist and there I have a leaf just a little um, wound there where it's come off the stem and the idea is to just leave that sitting for an hour or so so that that dries off and then I'll show you what the next stage is but I'll, I'll take a few more leaves um, first of all um, I'm just spoiled for choice. It's very forgiving. The jade plant. Um. Now, I've accidentally broken um, several of them <laughs> because it's quite easy to pull these apart. But I'm just going to um, take a couple of the big leaves. I hope you can see this. In fact, I'll take all of the big leaves except these two. And I'm just going to use that as a, a cutting as well. So, how many more of these do I want to do? Not one. I've had this money plant for, oh, many years now. And to be fair, a lot of those years I just ignored it. Uh, and it's only really recently that I've decided I should look after it a bit better. But they don't really take much looking after. And I love propagating. Um, and I'll show you some plants that I propagated last year. So yeah, I'm going to just stop there for now. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, plus this little one here. Uh, and we'll use that as the basis of some more plants. So, as I said, I'm going to leave these for an hour or so, just so that the wound dries up and sort of heals over. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just lay the, the leaves out on top of some gritty compost. This is actually compost that's got vermiculite through it. And um, I'm just going to set the leaves on and squish them with water and just keep squishing them with water until such time as you'll see little... So literally, I'll just sort of set them like that. And uh, eventually, after a, um, a couple of weeks, um, you'll find that there's little roots forming and that the you're at the the wound point there and you end up getting roots attaching the, each of the leaves into the soil and um, at that point they're taking off so just keep uh, keep sort of squishing them with water keep everything moist and um, as they get a little bit bigger I'll show you and we'll sort of put them into separate pots and grow them on as little plants and it literally is as simple as that. So here's five um, plants 
that uh, I propagated from the jade uh, started, I think, October time last year. Just took a leave and um, grew each of these plants from a single leaf from the jade plant. And they're looking quite nice now. We've just put them, we potted them actually in some uh, succulent and cactus potting mix, which will do them fine. <laughs>